Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Pillars of Eternity 2. As I continue with my blind let's play. Last time we went through Seameth uh, Moor. Uh, I think that's how I pronounced it. But anyways, um, awesome dungeon. I decided to go against Galloway, and he sent a Kraken after me. And I, after a couple tries, I took it down. So. Now, we're going to see if we can handle the druid problem. Uh, there we go. I was about to say I couldn't select the party. Uh, for Rautai. Um, and yeah, go from there. Um, oh, and also, at Stura, back at the Breast Citadel, also wanted to see us. So we'll see what that's all about. Alright. Leave by foot. So yeah, I'm recording this, just for reference, a few minutes after of, you know, the last video, so we'll see what happens. And, oh, actually, looks like we need to repair the ship, if I'm looking at that right. Anyways. Okay. So let's try this again. At least this time, these enemies up here won't affect us, so... And maybe with Aloth in the party now, we might... ...have more success? I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll just walk up to him. We'll just see. I don't know what that noise was. Oh, it's that. Oh, that'll be a problem. Whatever that's doing to us. Yeah, no. Um, we're gonna do this. Hang on, bear with me, everybody. I'm gonna turn everybody around. Hi. Aloff, since you're. Well, someone has to go up and talk to him. Or no, I guess we could just attack. We could just attack. Okay, that actually has good range, so we're gonna do this. And move back, right now. Tell me, of course. Everybody get ready in position. Okay, wait for him. Aloff, cast missiles again. Alright, charge, go. Oh wow, everybody's... That's fine, that's fine. Let's deal with... Autumn, let's deal with Autumn first. Aloff, you're going to... Cast Fireball... Right there. Still got it. Please. Okay. Chronic Lance, sure. Cast on that one. Yes. Relish. Oh goodness. Um. I'm gonna hope for the best. You were saying. Come on, Zodi. I don't know if she got that off or not. It doesn't look like it, so I'm gonna try it again. Darkness flows and the love. Happy to oblige. Okay, everybody. Okay. Actually, no. Take out the Druid of the Spring. Take out the Druid of the Spring. Aloth. No, not that one. Not that one. Chain Lightning. Okay. 
Okay, part of the problem is everybody is kind of... There we go. Right between the eyes. There we go. Certainly. Yeah, he's healing, but that's fine. You were so there we go. Where's she? That's it. Perfect. Yes, this was way easier with Alaw. Even though he was one level below, but. All right, exceptional robes. Exceptional war hammers. Saint Omaku's Mercy. Warbo, two handed. Nice. Hang on to that, Palagina, for right now. And we'll stash the rest. I'm listening. Let's go. Let's take those out. All right, let's gather up these resources and head back and report in. Actually, before we do that, let's rest up. Just for, uh, you know, Zodi's sake. Gosh, I, I just love the colors of this game. It's so pretty. I mean, just look at that. That, that looks so good. And then with the lantern, the lighting, I know I've said this, I know I've said this already, but it, it just bears repeating, it's, it's good. All right, so let's head back and thinking about it, let me check the journal. That's right, since we leveled up, we are now ready to do the main quest. I'm not going to just yet. Um, actually, uh, so the main quest I'm on right now, he waits in fire. I don't want any spoilers per se, you know, anybody that's watching. Um, but I'm curious to know how long is the main quest? Um, I, I'm sure right, right when I get to a certain point, it will say, you know, hey, like, you know, big warning sign, this is, this is it, you know, make sure to go back and do everything before, you know, um, before proceeding. So, um, I'm really just curious, because at some point I, I do want to do this, you know, continue this, but again, like I said before, I don't want to rush, you know, this game, I've really been enjoying it. Okay, so... Does anybody use bows? I don't think so. I'm really tempted to sell this for the money right now. That's a really good bow, though. I know if, um... Oh, shoot. Her name escapes me right now. Um... The... the companion in the first game with the bow, and I cannot think of her name. If, regardless, if she was in the party with us, she would be getting this. Um, but alas. Let's... I'm gonna hold off on selling that just for right now. Let's get some rice. Let's get some more food. And then... Rice wine? Ooh, uh, yes. Actually, let's switch that with the water. There we go. 
fresh fruit, and... There was that. Where, um, hang on. There we go. There's the rice. So we have a lot of food now. Hang on. We need to do that. That's fine for right now. Okay, so let's go back to the Fleet Master. No doubt the druids plot their next attack even as we speak. The druid leaders are dead. Excellent. You are as dependable as I've been told to expect. Now we can begin logging in earnest. Regarding your reward, we seized a cache of weapons from a gang of pirates we caught sniffing about Sayuka. Of course, we only use regulation weaponry here, so I'd appreciate it if you'd take these off my hands before one of my engineers does something foolish with them. Uh, she has a bundle of grenades into your arms and tosses a blunderbuss on top of the heap. Nice, okay. And then concussion bombs, grenades, stun bombs. All right. What is this one? Like I said, blunderbuss, right? It's not that much damage. Its value is not that much either. Um, uh, I'm not going to read this per se, but uh, if you want to pause the video, go ahead. If, if you, you know care to read it, so. There you go. You found me with a rare spare moment. I'll take my leave. Thank you, Fleet Master. Speak freely. Alright, and that is done. So. That's, no, wait, that's Valia. Um... Uh, so wait, Sarah's want to speak with me. Clearing out Cookspur. Hmm, okay. I wonder, is it more assassinations? Speak freely. I don't know. But let's go let's go talk to him though. Since the Fleet Master said he's not that uh you know, patient. Uh even though I I, I know it's probably not timed, no problem, but let's Captain. let's go Does ahead it ever and trouble you? Being so far removed from the rest of your order? Are you gonna call me heretical too? Of course not. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to pry. I didn't mean to jump on you. I'm just used to being called names. It's all right. I understand the feeling. Love the banter once again. Alrighty. So let us go... That's Ashenmaw. No clue what that place is. Um, have I even been to Crooked Spur? I'm just curious to see where it's at on the map if I've passed by it. Meryl the Mad, what the heck? It's probably a ship, that's probably a ship. Yeah, I don't know. So, with that said, let us go back down. And apparently it's late summer, and I think we started the game in spring, so we'll see how long that lasts. We might even get to winter at this rate. Alright, to the Brass Citadel, to the Imperial Command Lower. Four hours and 49 minutes. It 
It's impossible to cheat at Hazatoa. All right, Atsura, we're back. He acts like he's gonna do one thing, then he does something else. Asura folds his hands and cocks his head, watching you like an especially thoughtful bird of prey. Oh boy, okay. He waits several seconds before speaking. I must thank you most humbly for your help. You've rendered Okaya and all of us a great service. Let's just say Gwithin Ruins and Soul Devices are something of a hobby of mine. A rare speciality, and an extremely valuable one. But I called you here to discuss another matter. A great injustice plagues the archipelago, and we have an opportunity to end it. A thriving slave trade disrupts the dead fire. I've determined that it's being run from the island known as Crooksburg. Interesting, okay. Uh, what's the Royal Deadfire Company's interest in slavers? Getting rid of them. I mean, that's always nice. That's really good. If you're really genuine about that, you know? Slavers sow chaos wherever they ply their unsavory business. They uproot communities, disrupt trade, and attract the vilest criminals. Unfortunately, they've been allowed to operate here for years. Uh, so what do you mean by allowed? He glances as though as through hooded eyes, a sneaky grin playing at his lips. He quickly suppresses it. Why, if the Juana had marshaled their forces, the slaver problem never would have reached this extent. Okay. That it has is a failure we must lay at the feet of the Kahanga Royals. I guess my question is, who are the slavers? Is it the Valians? Is it the pirates? And I feel like if it's come up before... Um, forgive me, because I'm not remembering right now if it, if it has come up before, but anyways... So... And honestly, yeah, I agree, they should have stopped this. Two thousand years ago, our people began the conquest of Rawatai. The land was new to us. Many of its inhabitants were better equipped. But we overcame them. We were unified where they were scattered. And we were not content to huddle in cliff caves and subsist. We were determined to make a better life for ourselves. So, where are you going with this? I am merely pointing out that it is difficult for fragmented, transient tribes to maintain control over their territory. Well, I mean, even for empires, it can, you know, the same thing can happen, but regardless. Is it not noble and just to end this scourge, especially if the Juana cannot? We must end the slaver threat. Uh, yes, I'm all for ending the slaver th threat, but to me, I mean, and given the past dealings we've had with you, Atsura, and everything else, you all, there has to be an alternate alternative motive to this. There has to be. You're not. You're not just doing this out of the kindness of your heart. So. Oh my gosh, that's the, literally... <laughs> that is literally a dialogue option. I, I didn't even see it. So yeah, I'm gonna say that. That's literally what I'm thinking. You're not doing this out of the kindness of your heart. What's your angle? He cocks his head and considers his answer. Finally, he nods. Rawatai has interests in a stable dead fire, and in earning the favor of our Juana brethren. The slavers threaten both goals. Okay, I mean... You know what? Thank you for being upfront with that. I mean, that makes perfect sense. So, when he seems satisfied he's answered your question, he continues. Go to the slaver outpost on Crooksburg and kill Master Kua, the ringleader. His associates should scatter. As much as I would like to send our forces to fight the good fight alongside you, I'm afraid that would only cause trouble in other quarters. 
especially since some of the slavers operate legally and with the blessing of certain Valian officials. Okay, so yeah, so it's the Valians. Okay, and forgive me if that's come up before. It, it might have. Well, I mean, gr I'll say this. Granted, there was the one document of the captain back on Pokokohara. You know, we've already been through all that. That I accidentally gave to that one guy, so I don't know. Um, so that's just confirming more of the Valians, uh, you know, doing this. I am sure the company is abiding by the Juana prohibitions against slave trade in Deadfire. However, I have it on good authority that the slavers have made enemies of the Wahaki. They may be willing to help you. Who are the Wahaki? Hang on. An aggr- Come on. An aggressive and isolationist Juana tribe. The Wahaki are constantly pushed back against the Valian and Rautian efforts to expand into the outlying islands of the Deadfire. If they don't take your head off first. The Wahaki congregate on an island called Ori Okoiki. It means cursed land of corpses. Okay. That's, uh, I think, for some reason, I think that was already marked on the map up north. I'll have to double check. They are suspicious of outsiders, so approach them with caution, if at all. What's important is that you rid us of the slavers on Crookspur. Well, you know what? The slavers will never know what hit them. I'm counting on that. He smiles. All right, farewell. That's called strategy. And don't you work for Atsura? Wait. Oh, that's that conversation down there. I was, I was thinking it was one of the party members. Uh, before we go upstairs, let's check something. Wow. Okay, so yeah, we have gained a lot of reputation fast with uh, the Dead Fire Company, which makes sense. It really does. Um, I just realized Delver's Row has connections with the Dead Fire. I don't know why I... So, wait. That's interesting. So the Gullet has connections with the Principe, and of course, of course Port Maje has with the Valians. That makes sense. Um, maybe I'm just missing something. That's, that's really funny, though. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be straight up, you know, like I've kind of been saying, I think, that as of right now, I'm literally... It's a toss-up between the Principe, Rautai, and the Valians. Um, you could say the Principe is kind of like the Valians, in a way. Uh, or at least... Or the way I think of it, I guess the Principe is more like old Valia, and then there's the Valians and Rautai. Um, I know for a fact I'm I'm not going to side with the Hawana or Nekataka. I, I really don't see that as an option. Or at least, you know, as, you know, my character, my decision, whatever you want to call it. So... Okay, so yeah, um... Anyways, let's, let's continue. I don't know, the more I think about it... The only way... Well, no, I can't say that. I was about to say the only way I would side with the Principe is if I got rid of some of their leadership. I, I don't know. Hey, Firefly. Catch. Huh? What? Wait, did you even toss me anything? Don't mind me. Just testing your reflexes. I I love that. I love their banter. All right, let's let's continue. Okay, so Actually, you know what? 
Let's go to the gullet. Let's go to the hole. Oh wait, I'm in the wrong spot. I don't. I don't. I didn't mean there. Um, I meant to take the cage down, down below. That's what I meant. Sorry for all the loading screens, everybody. I'm trying to get there. So let's see if we can go back down, because I want to continue actually exploring down here, because I know we hadn't finished that. It might not be much, but I'm still curious about it. Alright, back down we go. Let's go down. Yeah, we still have half this place to go. So yeah, let's let's continue exploring. I would think since we've gained so many levels now that this place should be really easy, so I'm not gonna... I'm just gonna, I guess, probably rush through a lot of this. Maybe not rush through, but you get the point. Not not be as careful. Ooh, let's, yeah, let's go over there first. Okay. Yeah, let's take that out. Whatever it whatever it does. It is no, use. I cannot get no, we can get it, we can get it. There we go. Got someone in my sights. Yeah, this is definitely easier now that, uh, you know, we left and now I can come back. Let's go. All right, let's take out this one. Get a clean hit. I, I want to try to... There we go. I was going to say, I was trying to get the audio to where it would uh, center out, but I'm on the edge of the map, and a lot of it's coming in through the right, right side. There we go. Easily done. Don't mention it. No, you, you, did, you did well, Maya. Thank you. Find it. Yeah, what did you find? Scroll of staghorns and money. Well done. Actually, anything up else up there? Whoa! Your dialogue cut out, but let's let's talk. Lone survivor. Wait, I'm not looking for trouble. Not more. I mean, and I've not got a weapon on you. See? He raises his hand to show his sword is sheath. It's just, you're the first body I've bumped into in days. That's actually breathing. I mean, could it be you're delving for forgotten treasures? Same as me? Uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to come explore. Um, you know, see if anything else was down here. So, it's interesting you're down here, sir. His boots are slicked with grime. His clothes are filthy and rumpled from several days wear, and his neck and hands are smeared in places with mud. A pack rests at his heels, empty enough to have flopped into itself. It likely carries no more than his dwindling supplies. So you're a treasure hunter. Right. And a successful one, usually. Okay. I'm loath to admit it, but look, I'm too desperate not to. I have found not a single trinket and no end to this pit since I first crawled down. 
I had thought to follow the rivers out, but the caves are crawling with grubs. You know, I don't know if he really is a treasure hunter. I feel like they put him down here and he's just been trying to survive. I don't know. We'll see, though. So, how'd you actually know? How long have you wandered down here? I packed provisions enough for two weeks. Started rationing when things looked grim after the first odd days. I... I don't know beyond that. His eyes... Sorry, he eyes the ribbed toe of his boot and as he scuffs it against the stone beneath his feet. Andra's lure seems hardly worth it now. Suppose I fell for the bait though, didn't I? Fabled temple full of treasures in my ass. Um... So what was your escape plan when you first ventured into the pit? I scaled down from the cliffs, but midway, the rocks turned slick. So there's no climbing back up. What else? Best bet's the rivers at the base of the pit. They flow beneath the outcrops, so they must dump into the sea. The trouble's been reaching the base. The western caves wind downward, but they're riddled, infested. Walking them's not been safe. If I clear a path, I'll let you know. Right. I'll wait here, and you'll return for me, won't you? He nods in answer to his own question, but a deep worry furrows across his brow. We'll see. I should return, but we'll see. But yeah, my gut reaction was he actually wasn't a treasure hunter, and he was just thrown down here like some of the people. But who knows? I guess we'll find out. I'll get that for you. Don't mention it. There we go. Oh, wow. We should be fine, given our level. And Aloth, why not? Cast Fireball right there. Wow. Nice. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. See that fire. Onward. I'm here. These are in for a while. There we go. As you wish. Okay, that's the cave. So, maybe he's talking about up north? I guess we'll find out. Let's take care of this first. You see that, Ishii? Here, let's, let's speed that up. There you go. Yeah, he probably means over here. Once again, the lighting is really good. I've, I've really been enjoying it. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. Fresh boot prints stir in the mud. Okay. Oh, and that goes down. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Let's get him. All right, let's everybody charge the pens or the burrows. Let's let's take care of them. Easily done. Don't mention it. Actually, you know what? Hang on. 
my ass. So you have Griffin's Blade and a just regular sword. Interesting that you're dual wielding. Um, let's do... oh wait. Yeah, you just have a regular one. So yeah, let's do Exceptional Sword. Unless there's anything else. It's a fine sword. Yeah, that's fine. That's that's good. I'm here. It's gold Drac Nest, and then Old City Ruins. Let's go for the nest oh, first. Gladly. Actually, let's walk over here really fast. Okay, yeah, nothing else. You find stairs carved into the cliff. They're uh, disconcertingly narrow in some places and broken in others, but they appear to lead all the way to the bottom. Inspect the path. From here, the way down looks stable enough. However, you see a gap about halfway down the cliff. Uh, okay, so climb down. Halfway down, you reach the spot where the stairs have crumbled away. Only a narrow ridge remains. You consider the path before uh, failure? What happened? Perception? Oh, okay. Oh boy. Um, well, let's... Let's cross it. Parcel success. The ridge is surprisingly slick with mold. It's hard to maintain your balance and effort quickly becomes tiring. Palagina and Alceris was injured. Oh, wow. Okay, so... So we made it into the old city. Okay, interesting. So... I would think if we went this way, we would run into the cave. I could be wrong. Got someone in my sight. Okay, let's see how tough these enemies are. Oh wow, Palagina. Heal up. Zodi, heal us up. Yeah, I really thought this might not lead into the old city. That would will lead somewhere else, but maybe not. Uh huh. Oh wow. Let's do it. You should see this. Uh, let's go after this one. Aloft, throw a fireball in there. Whenever you can. There you go. Might as well do it again. You know, let me check something after this fight. So Palagina said she couldn't get through. What is she wielding? Fine greatsword? Oh, okay. Um, do we have an exceptional one? For some reason I thought we did, but maybe we don't. It's the fine greatsword. 
Yeah, exceptional. There we go. I don't know why I haven't done that. And if I did, maybe I, maybe we died, and that's why I thought I switched it out. I don't, I don't know. You know what? Yeah. Hold on to that pistol. Or... Can't do it in combat. Hang on. There we go. Now let's try to... Switch this out. Hang on. Uh... Shoot, where was it? I'm now blind. Oh, it's right here. Oh my goodness. Okay. So yeah, switch that out. And switch out this pistol. Yes. Indeed. All right, let's double back this way. I'll handle this. And before we go up those stairs, let's go this way really fast. See what's over this direction. I'll take this. Okay, so this goes... Oh, the old city, old city ruins. Oh, okay. Now I understand. I thought that was... Okay. Oh, yeah, let's get out of that. Please get out of that. No, fall back! Actually, no. You let's, let's take them. Death is the true atonement. Lava rule beyond sin. Man, this is testing my endurance. What can I do you for? Lava beyond sin. Okay. There we go. I was just about to. Oh wow. Uh, take out that that pillar, but we got it. Oh goodness. Okay, we can't go that direction anymore. Yeah, let's quickly take a peek over here. And you know what? Since we're kind of injured, let's go ahead and camp right here. Oh, that's right. I need to actually get to an inn to heal that. I keep forgetting about that. Sunken City. Wait, really? Right. Okay, nice. I guess what I was surprised about, I guess there's an entrance somewhere? I'm not seeing it, but... I'll have what have we here? Uh, what are you seeing? I'm looking for it. I don't see anything. Oh, right here? Okay. Nice, okay. Actually, no. Yeah, let's, let's go up here.
There we go. Here's, uh, Chamber of the Tides. That looks like the start of a dungeon. Um... Let's check it out since we're right here, and I'll try to see if I can go over there really fast. Next to the sealed door is a statue of a woman, cracked and overgrown with moss. Both of her arms are extended towards you, but one of her hands is missing. It looks like a Hawana represent repens representation oh my goodness, of Andra. Her robes hang like sheets of water, pulling around her feet like ripping currents. You examine the spot where her missing hand should be. Yet the stone of her empty sleeve feels more smooth, as if her sculptor had never shaped a hand there to begin with. Her only hand is open, palm up as if receiving something. Alright, um, not sure what we're supposed to give her, and granted we might find it in the old city ruins. Let's go uh, grab this for right now. There we go. Okay, let's let's explore the this side of the map really fast. Oh wow, uh, men's fortune. So a smuggler kind of running blockades, invading Valians. Wields the saber and many fights no escapes. If you want to read the rest, uh, there you go. I just wanted to kind of quickly skim through it. Alright. Um, that's another thing I forgot. That I did... Oh wow. Uh, that I did so late in the, in the first game was enchanting my weapons. Um... I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Right now we're, we're fine without enchanting, so... Actually, Aloth, get out of there. There you go. That's not very helpful. These ins are in for a wallop. Okay, Aloth. Do it again. Loved that slowdown right there. That was awesome. Oh. There is a lot of them now. Okay, that's fine. These ins are in for a wallop. Oh wow. Uh Zodi, let's let's start healing up. How may I help? Attack. Say your prayers. Yes. Certainly. I'm here. With relish. Well, let's take care of this one. Oh man, there! I just noticed the back of them. That looks awful. Ooh, man. Okay. Let's stash all this. By the end of this, we should have a lot of money. So, in terms of, you know, selling stuff and everything. I did not check that belt. I think it's a belt. Yes, it was. Plus two to athletics. Let's give it to... You know what? Let's give it to Aloth. He's not good in athletics, but me, eh? at least he'll uh, boost it. The Gullet's Falls. I think that's actually what... Ooh, little stutter there. Don't know why that keeps happening, but that's okay. 
As long as it's not crashing on me. You know what? We haven't saved it in a while. Let's save it. Just in case. I know it auto-saved, but we just cleared out all this. I don't want to lose all that progress. Um, but yeah, I think the falls is where that guy needed to go. I could be wrong, but... Um, I don't see anything else to, to do, so I'm going to go back and return to that guy really fast. Alright, you find the stairs carved into the cliff. They're same as before, so let's climb up. You step up, testing the weight on the first of the many cracked and crumbling ledges. It holds, and as you climb, you navigate the narrow ledges and gaps with careful footing. Halfway up, you reach the spot that has crumbled away. Luckily, a narrow ridge remains. It proves sturdy and allows you easily cross the gap. You rise to the peak at a brisk pace. Sweat beads the valley of your spine, but it feels good. A relief against the balmy atmosphere. The rot step, scrape, step... Oh my goodness. Step, scrape to your uh, ascent. Give you time to think. When you reach the top, you uh, stretch and find your group reflects the same. Exuberant smiles spread across their faces. But yeah, if that's not the spot for this guy, oh, that's the lift, um, then I don't know. Oh. Let's take, take care of them first. <laughs> Afraid not, Captain. Certainly. That's it. Could you something to put a little pep in my step? Yeah. Afraid not, Captain. There we go. I was just trying to get everybody around. You know, everybody's kind of bottlenecked right there. Of course. Alright, now let's go back over here. I just noticed, I don't know if I ever looked at that. I need to check that out. And that might be the item that I'm looking for. Either that or it's in the other ruin, other part of the old city. You haven't found a way out of here, have you? I've wiped out most of the grubs from the western caves. Yes, right. It's safe to make for the rivers then. Or it's safe as it's likely to get. I'll head downward now. Mayhaps we'll meet again in the darkness? Take heed if you've plans to trudge deeper north. I only glimpsed it once, but whatever nightmare lurks near the falls of the pit, it's incredibly massive. And surely just as me. I'll keep that in mind. Good luck to you. Not sure if we'll ever see him again, but we'll see. Alright, time to go over here. Check this out. Okay. A cracked stone face rises from the pool. Lynches clog and hollows under its burrows and nostrils and a pale glow plays along the undersides of its cheeks. Inspect it. As murky as it is, it's difficult to tell how deep it goes. You can barely see the statue's submerged shoulders. The rest of it is shrouded in darkness. Let's dive. Let's dive towards it. Oh, it's only going to be Palagina? Oh, I guess because she's right there. 
Uh, cancel. Hang on. Elsaris, this is this yes, is you. I it's all you. Me. I'll handle. Okay. Dive towards it. You leap into the pool and swim down. The water is surprisingly warm with an oily texture and a backish, brackish flavor. I do like how we could leave that, as a side note, uh, leave that encounter, go back and grab other party members for this. That That's really good design. I love it. Yet as you paddle deeper, the water grows colder. The light in the depths become brighter and sharper, and a strange melody murmurs through the water. As the mysterious source grows closer, muck clog clogs your eyes, and a strong current pushes you back. Despite the effort, you fight through the current, sustained by a deep breath and strong lungs. You reach the source of the light and the music. A glowing uh, conch of statues open hand. Music flows from it, as rich as deep as a baritone. You hover above it. Your lungs begin to ache. Thank goodness for my constitution. I'm going to take it and swim back up. At f first, it's stuck in place. With little effort, you pry it from the statue's palm. It comes free with a pop, and the radiance and the music fades. You push off from the statue and swim despite the pain swelling in your chest. Oh, it's this. It's for Dario. Oh, now I remember. So you kick toward the dim glow of the surface. Gotcha. We could give that back to him. I don't know. We'll see. You emerge and climb out of the pool, enjoying deep breaths of the dank care. Oh, sorry, of the dank cave air. You hear rattling. The bones by the pool grind and snap together. Several skeletons rise from the mud. That shouldn't be a problem. I hope. There we go. Okay. Oh, Gina, Attack. you two take care of them. Take care of them. Aloth, run over here and. Oop, not that one. That one. Yeah, they need a charge over there right now. Onward. Captain. I've got this, Captain. Yeah. Yeah, let's take him out. Say your prayers. There we go. I I find it funny that I inadvertently got that quest item accidentally for uh, Dario. You were, saying? you were saying? I mean, I guess, I guess I could give it back to him just to have him gain a little bit more, you know, trust for me. But I don't know. I guess, I guess I have to see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is actually where I'm gonna stop this video for today. Um, next time. I'm going to continue. I'm going to go to this part of the, the ruins, the old city ruins. Uh, see if we can find that one item for that one entrance. Looks like a, a dungeon down here. Um, and yeah, continue on. Uh, after that, I think I'll uh, continue, I think, helping out at Sura. Possibly. I, I don't know. Um, I'll have to see. But regardless, like always, ladies and gentlemen, I greatly appreciate all of you taking the time out of your day to watch these videos, even if you're just watching part of it or skipping ahead, what have you, you know, just, just thank you. I, I do appreciate it. Wherever you guys are, have a good day, have a good night, and take it easy, everyone.